Oh. Ah, oh, thank you. Now listen, could, could you please tell me everything you know about Eve? Lucy. Uh, time to go. Oh. Uh, oh, excuse me. Just one teeny tiny moment. Listen, Doc, I am really on to something here. Could you just Lucy, one I moment? just spent two thousand dollars bailing you and my father out of jail for solicitation. I'm in no mood to be put off. I know, but I have the most wonderful news. And I don't want to hear it. Now, you either come out of there or I'm going to leave, get my bail money back, and leave you in this cell until you actually begin to like the food. Okay, okay, just, just, just one second. Hey, listen, um, my name is, is, is Lucy, L L Lucy Coe, and, and it's really a pleasure to meet you, and I'd love to meet with you again. Uh, could you tell me your name? Tammy. Tammy? Mm. Is that your real name? Lucy, you come out of there right now, or I will leave and offer to testify for the prosecution. <sighs> okay, okay. Listen, I, I guess I have everything I need. It was swell meeting you. have a lovely voice, and, and, and girls, thank you. It was so nice to see all of you, and, well, ta. <sighs> Doc. Just go. Oh, oh. Boy, I thought my pimp was bad. What's going on? We're conducting our own investigation. Isn't this Eve's stuff? What are you guys going through it for? Julie found a bottle of morphine in Eve's medical bag. What? Mm -hmm. She said someone else put it there, of course. You guys don't. She's not trying to hurt you. Now, we'll have the proof soon enough. The police took the bottle to dust it for prints. And meanwhile, Eve moved out. We're giving her a hand by packing up. Oh, something tells me Eve wouldn't be too happy about helping her pack up. Oh, ask me if I care. She'll land on her feet like the alley cat she is. Speaking of unpleasant, guess who I ran into at the hospital today? I give up. Courtney. Yeah, I know. She's there because her son has leukemia. Who's Courtney? Some skirt Joe was chasing. It was a long summer. time ago. We all make mistakes. As long as you've learned from yours. Frank, don't worry. All right? The only person in my life right now is Karen. Hold that thought. Courtney is nothing but trouble. I am the last person who needs reminding of that. Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you were off tonight. Julie Morris Devlin is a jerk. Yeah, well, what chance did she have? Look who raised her. Dr. Mayer, 205. <sighs> What did she do? Let's just say I'm no longer living in the Scanlon House of Horrors. <laughs> they kicked you out already? You should try charm school or something. They didn't kick me out. I left gladly. It's just going to be a pain in the butt looking for another place to live. Oh, well, you'll do fine. You always do. I could use more than just your confidence. And what did you have in mind? Not what you were hoping for. Last time we roomed together, you had me move out because the chemistry between us was too good. Is that oh, what you said? The word tease comes to mind. Oh, come on. That is not true. You had me move out because I was getting close to finding out that you didn't have any cash. Well, so now we all know you're a fake, so... You know, if you're trying to butter me up for a favor, you're doing a lousy job. Hey, do you want help with the rent or not? You want the couch? Oh, for half the rent, I want more than just the couch. Suit yourself. Have half my bed. In your dreams. How about we move a futon into your office? It's not big enough. We can move all your office furniture out. You're asking me to live with a possible serial killer. Now, how do I know you're not going to up and murder me in the middle of the night with a fountain pen? I'll get rid of all the fountain pens in your house and replace them with felt tips. <laughs> I'm not convinced. Hey, why would I kill you, Christopher? I need you. Since when? How would I be able to afford the rent on your place all by myself, huh? Quit batting your eyelashes at me before I puke. So do we have a deal? Yeah, why not? I suppose if the urge hits me, I can always smother you with a pillow while you sleep. What the hell do you think you're doing? Helping you pack. You have no right to touch my things. What's the matter? Do you have something to hide? What's the matter? You got something else to plant on me? I didn't put that bottle of morphine in your bag. Yeah, and you didn't steal my address book either, did you? I didn't. You're a lousy liar. Well, I haven't had nearly as much practice as you. God, I used to feel sorry for you. I did. I thought you had a crummy family, a crummy father. But now I see that Bennett's the one that got the raw end of the deal. No wonder he came to me for comfort. And you sure gave it to him, didn't you? Right? Through the heart. Oh, you seem to forget, Julie. Your father didn't have a heart. You're not going to get away with this. I will personally see to that. Oh, 
spare me the outraged daughter act. Please, it's not going to work with Oh, me. I'm outraged, all right, thanks to you. I have lost my father. Even my memories of him are tainted because of you. Oh, boy. Freud would have a field day with this one. A little electro complex going on there, sweetie. Oh, you were the pathetic one looking for a father figure. I mean, isn't that why you were sleeping with How Dad? How dare you? I hate you. And I will bring you down if it is the last thing I do. I wouldn't try it if I were you. Your father didn't. He failed miserably. And so will you. Just watch me. No. You watch me. I am sick and tired of your spoiled little princess act, holding your breath and stomping your feet. People are going to find out the truth about you. And until they do, I am not breathing the same hypocritical air as you. I'm out of here. You can't run that far. I don't have to. I'm no grace. You come after me and you're going to be the one lying cold on the floor. I'll send for the rest of my things later. Now, it was all my fault for involving Lucy in my plans. Oh, Victor, no, no, no. I am not going to let you take the blame for this one. I practically forced you to oh. go with me. Victor, it's not your job to protect Lucy. Well, it's not your job to judge her. Victor, leave us alone. Uh, Lucy? Yeah, it's okay, Victor. Listen, I am really sorry that I got you arrested. I didn't intend for that to happen at all. It was fun. I haven't had so much excitement in years. <clears throat> Later. Um... I know that you're mad. I know you are really, 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 really mad. But, y you know, when you hear what I have to say, you're going to know it was all worth it. My father's just out of an institution, and you got him arrested for being a pimp. I know, but he looks really good in purple, and he, he said he had fun. You just heard him. Thank God he thinks he's Don Quixote. Oh, Doc, come on. At the jail, you wouldn't let me tell you what I found out. But I did it. I finally did it. I got the goods on Eve. And a new entry on your arrest record. Oh, that's okay, because Mac will take care of that. He'll clear your father's name. Listen to me. In the jail, I met this hooker who used to work for the Enchanted Escort Service. And she told me Eve was an escort at the service. Don't you see? It's wonderful. I got it. It's pathetic, Lucy. Well, yeah, actually, you're right. You're not going to believe the name Eve used. She called herself Madam Curious. Kind of a takeoff on that woman scientist, you know, Madam Curie. Ugh. You should be very proud of yourself. I am. I am, Doc. Don't you see? I finally can protect Scott and Serena. I am protecting them from that lying slut. Well, good show. You went digging for dirt and you found it. I did, didn't I? Oh, I, I can't believe I did this. You know, the police, those fools, they didn't even try half as hard as I did to get the proof. And I did it. I got the proof on Eve. I did it. I did it. I did it. You know, Lucy, you still don't have the proof that Devlin knew anything about Eve's past or that he threatened her with it. Oh, Doc, come on. What did Devlin do? He hired an investigator to investigate Eve. Why would he do that if he didn't have something I on I still her? don't believe Eve killed him. And you did not believe that Eve would actually turn tricks. Well, she did a lot of them. Even if Eve killed Devlin in a fit of rage, that doesn't explain Grace Sullivan's murder. That was a cold, deliberate act, and Eve doesn't have it in her. I don't believe this. This is really not about Eve or Grace or murder or anything, is it? This is about us. This is about the fact that finally I get to be right, and you're wrong. You can't stand it. I wish that were true, Lucy. Look at you. You're doing it. That's what Scott always says you do. You condescend to people. Well, you're right. I did not go to Oxford, but I happen to be very smart. Lucy, you are the smartest, most beautiful woman I have ever known. But do you realize it's been almost a year since you've said you would marry me? And look at you. Well, you know what? I'd like to get out of my braids, but I can't because we can't stop I arguing. I remember a warm summer night at the duck pond. I asked you to marry me. You said yes, and I thought I was going to fly. Doc, don't you think I remember every millisecond of that moment? In that I... year, only one of us has gotten married, Lucy. You did. To Rex Stanton. And now that that marriage has been annulled, you're going out on a series of dates with strangers. That's not fair. I have a reason. I yes, I know, I know. You were helping Scott. You always have a reason, an excuse, or some noble plot that keeps you from concentrating on us, Lucy. Be honest with me. Do you even want to marry me? Doc, you know I do. I love you more than anything in the world. And why is it almost a year since we got engaged, we're still not married? And why am I bailing you out of jail for doing something that you told me you'd never do again? 
I'm not going to live like this, Lucy. 